So today it's time to talk about the Tronsmod T7 Lite. So the speaker is pretty cool performer. It's not the greatest in the overall performance, so especially the normal EQ is a bit of a mid <laughs> EQ. So I did use the custom EQ in my sound comparisons or in my sound testing. And especially the treble and also like the lower bass levels I tried to boost a bit up. Not with a big success, but at least the overall profile of the speaker is a little bit better. So uh, yeah, to get straight away, I do use EQs in my videos because some speakers really don't sound the best without an EQ. But I only use EQs if they are available for speakers, their app or their built-in software. So for example, Miva speakers don't always have an EQ, so then I don't use an EQ. So yeah, without further ado, uh, <laughs> the overall performance is fine with an EQ and especially for the price, 30, 40 euros. It's a decent built speaker. Especially those LEDs, they do look pretty cool. They're pretty bright they even. And on the rear, the button layout is good. And yeah, I do think that the build quality, especially for this price, is the best I've seen till today. And yeah, have I something else to say? Yeah, not really. Let's just go to the audio sample so you guys can see how it's performing. <laughs> So yeah, the overall performance of the speaker is pretty cool and the LED lights and the custom EQ and even the app support on its own is pretty cool on a speaker of 40 euros. There's just two things I don't like about the speaker and that has to do with like the upper bass, which is still pretty much there if you use the custom EQ. 
I do think Tone Smart could have tried a bit more in the deeper levels. Like for outdoor, the speaker is fine, but for indoors, you do yeah, want to have a little bit more of a deepness in the audio. And the same goes with uh, like the treble overall performance, but also the mids. I did notice that uh, with some songs, the mid tones are falling a little bit behind the other frequencies. And yeah, I'm not even sure about battery life and so on, because yeah, I just received this. This is just the first impressions. Like I will do comparisons and so on. And then after some time, I will see also how the battery is performing. But I did notice I only did like audio samples around 30 minutes now recording. Some I use for this video. And the battery dropped around 20% volume or 20% battery. So I'm not sure if that's a good thing. <laughs> I didn't use it on max volume around 80% volume. So yeah, I'm really curious if the battery life will be even between three or four hours. So yeah, without further ado, this was the video and see you guys around.